I just outlined with a pen is the number 18 in Arabic. This is the number one in Arabic and this is the number eight in Arabic, which is 18. And on your left hand is the number 81 in Arabic. This is the number eight in Arabic and that's the number one in Arabic, which is 81. If you add up 18 and 81, it equals to 99, which is the number of Allah's beautiful names that appear in the Quran. And if you subtract 18 from 81, that equals to 63. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, passed away at the age of 63. All right, well, first of all, Adam, have you ever heard of this thing called a coincidence? Did you know that both presidents, Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy, were shot in the back of the head while sitting next to their wives? Both were shot by a man with three names, John Wilkes Booth and Lee Harvey Oswald. Both killers' names were also 15 letters long. 15 divided by 3 is 5, and both presidents were shot on a Friday, the fifth day of the week. Both Booth and Oswald were shot and killed before their trial, too. Abraham Lincoln was shot in Ford's theater, and Kennedy was shot in the Lincoln Continental, which was made by Ford. The point, Adam, is that you can find coincidences anywhere. There are far more parallels between the assassinations of Lincoln and JFK than there are between your hands and Islam. But something tells me you're not going to start praying to Lincoln and JFK now, are you? Not to mention the fact that your hands are full of multiple other lines, so where do they fall into your supposed miracle? What is their hidden meaning? Everyone has Arabic numbers on their hands. Except not everyone has those numbers, Adam. For example, some people's lines don't connect, giving them three ones. Or some people have what's called a simian line, which makes them only have an eight. So your miracle only works if you ignore the other kinds of hands